What's going on guys, this is Care Finds here and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So guys, in the last video, we had Sayori acting a little bit weird and going home early, which is something that she never did before. So yeah, let's see what this game will have for us this time. Here we're over here. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no re reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she will open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a single a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. That's weird. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feeling aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, um, I simply tell her I'm coming over. Much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit, a habit of simply entering, entering each other's houses like we're family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange for her not to run down and grieve me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi Karim. Oh, this music. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. How much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it always has been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she has had for years now. If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, how did you know about that? Yeah, wait, how did you know about that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Yeah, Monica told me. Um, it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There is more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her be about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sarah smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Karin. Huh? Why can't it be like it all it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over here today. He just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already, 
until I know I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah, <laughs> Sarah gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Karim. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Karim? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Oh, God. Did you know that? Why did, do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I'm when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. Me too. Uh, seriously, me too. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is this possible that Sari kept this from me the entire time I've known her? Did, did she really want so badly for me ju just not to think about her? Why Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little a bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, okay? Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's better sweet when people try to care about me. Here's that word again. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bed being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and getting closer with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just won't torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. Uh, dude. <laughs> but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I will do. No, Karim. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down Sire's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. That thinking, I once again grab Sire's shoulder, shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. <sighs> Karim, Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Karim, Sayori isn't hugging me back. So I'm just grabbing her like that. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sarah's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do do this to me. Please, don't do this, Kari. I, Sarah barely manages to speak between herself. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori pulls 
finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Kenny. There is that one time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sarah lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me to, uh, for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. So I rush her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did this, if you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for you to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Yuri shakes your head. I'm sorry. I don't know if uh, that would be a very good uh, for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for, for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have uh, reassured you and heard more on the way home. Oh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take you to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously. Curiosity, which makes me feel anxious. So clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. Ah, oh, no. Uh, it, I would be very, really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's whip, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's waist. She puts both of her hands warmly on her lap. And I haven't read that. Wait, um, yeah, she puts both of her hands firmly on her in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lightning, uh, aromatherapy, candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take, uh, take our guests to a far away place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought something things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the boat for event. Oh yeah? Like that? Let's see. 
Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and wooden cylinder shaped object. I need some traveling on my way here, so I happen to have this in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles throughout the room. Think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's the wooden thing though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with ar aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributions. Contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch in the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine oil, essential oil. It smells very really sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more happily. Don't you think it would be perfect for sharing our poems? Yeah, it does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Here smiles gently, clearing, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you push the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I would like to do is write a different word on each paper. We need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang out from the doorway in the, of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper into ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. May I track some to peek inside? That's real creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this year. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. But uh, <laughs> your giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's the marker cream. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Oh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper. Doing my best to manage my hand, my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired land. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Wait, what? Uh, the knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves attached to it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well, embarrassed Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weird at all. Uh, yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Oh. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of grasp, craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an in interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I can't. I think it's kind of, it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? You relax at her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. You carefully hands me the knife with the, gentle, with the handle facing me. I take it, turn it around with my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Here is a sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. 
Ow! Karim, why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched the log. Oh my god. It's like... It's like a slicing knife. It, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut your skin like it's paper. Oh... What do you use it for, Yuri? What do you use it for? Oh no. A small drop of blood tickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives it all the wound a closer look. Ah, uh, he stares at it and nosily fidgets. If you are squeamish, I will go wash it off now. Ah! Uh, with a warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Oh my god! I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I intensely pull my hand back. Uh oh! Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I. You lower your head, uh, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overacting, though. Uh. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'll do it anyway. What? What will you do? I think it was gonna lick her index finger in return. Oh my god! You two are weird, you know that? What are you? Does he really just do that? N now we're even. Here he just looks at me like I did something wrong. Haha. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of that that's no, that would be extremely heavy right now. You you're so weird, Karim. Yuri giggles shyly. <laughs> Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandit? Uh, I don't think I need one actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activity. I watch Yuri's knife cut through ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we we'll lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a torker. It looks great! Good thinking coming up to this, Yuri. Oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the, to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Oh, that's right. One of the items you had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. And why, why did I do that? I'm sorry, guys. We'll need about six cups of water to put it in each of the tablets. In. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too, too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes! I come to my room and see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Okay, something! Tells me that Yuri uses her knife to. Sorry, guys, cut herself. This is really weird. Ah, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so. Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablet, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint that gradient across the banner, starting with the colors of the, for the sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, then night, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it out on the wall behind the podium at, at the front of the classroom. Yeah, ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. You smiles at me, if you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on the opposite, on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few knots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. 
painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we have back then. It's relaxing. Ah, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know. Yeah, it's fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one another person, even if it's something simple like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paper. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Ka! <laughs> so sorry. You reels back and I quickly lift my hand in surprise. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm not hurt. You just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I would I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Uh your your face. There's a droplet of paint on your face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry. It's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dam with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. I pat down near his face and neck with a towel. Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but you suddenly holds my wrist. Wait! Huh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Uh. I keep my hand I still against her neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she is lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is, is it the aroma of ja the jasmine all giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri gently fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh, he slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. Uh, it's, it's fine. The moment is over as soon as it begun. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hastily retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that looks like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it'll be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in the morning. I can do that in the classroom before the, our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. Haha. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing work. Well, you think to yourself. I think it would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah, so I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems uh, to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time that can happen. <laughs> Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out of the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. 
No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, you're a fidget. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait! I can't say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Uh, I forgot that you don't like going out much. Uh, as I stumble over my words, you simply like, smile bashful. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful to you. He takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori? Uh, uh, hi, Karim. Sayori, just now we weren't. No, no nothing were happening, Sayori. Nothing was happening. It's okay, Karim. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together and, uh, uh I don't always get that. We'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course, your beams. Y yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed Yuri Harjo. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori... I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was really being was being really mean to me, so I had to come here and see for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. She's lying. She's lying. That you make good such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sarah's face. Yeah. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Kenny? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart's splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Kenny. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. Wait, what? I should just... Oh my god. What, 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 Mon what, what did Monica tell her? Monica? Monica was right about what? Uh, Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is taking out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but, but Sarah looks away. I put her hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Karim. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sarah? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me. Oh my god! This game is playing with my heart! Sayori, it's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Karim, I like you so much that I want to die! Oh my god! <laughs> that's how I feel! And, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slap my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Firstly, Sayori not. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what, I, what I'm going to give you. Sayori, I love you. You will always be my dearest friend. Why? Why is this even a decision? Why? Why do you do that to me? Like, I want to choose I, I love you, but Sayori said that she wants everything back to normal. But if I choose you always be my dearest friend, I think she's gonna be very heartbroken, especially that she said I'm afraid that you like I like you more than you like me. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna choose I love you. I don't care. I don't care. I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. 
I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with every with you every day, it helped me realize that you're truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Carrying him. Oh, I, hey, I see myself for the first time. <laughs> anyway, suddenly Sarah wraps her arms tightly around me. Carrying him. Is this really okay? Yeah. I would tire my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Karim. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Uh, I feel sorry about I'm weakening a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this, this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why wouldn't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Karim. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Sarah and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about these things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always been. Even if we are really are a couple, I don't know if we could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you guys. Hey, Karim, Sarah gives it me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Uh, I don't really understand what Sarah means by that. Are you saying that this makes is this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can't comfort her. I keep wondering if sh I should be doing something more, something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they are. They were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting things, anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I will give it everything I got. Sayori is the most important person to me, and I will do whatever it takes to have, have had a happy future with her. Guys, wait a second. I got, I got a, wait, wait, let me, let me show you something. Uh, I got a folder, I got a file in my game file. It's called Happy Thoughts. It's called Happy Thoughts, like the poem, like Sayori's poem. From, I don't know, was it day two or day three, I don't know. But it was, it was a Sayori poem. Wait, let me wait a second. Wait one second. Let me just wait. Oh my god. Let me wait. Okay, that's Sayori because of the red ribbon. Wait. That's a rope. And that's Sayori's photo being hanged. She's hand. Oh my god. Okay, something very bad is going to happen. I'm telling you. Something very bad is going to happen. Okay. Back to the game. Wait, let the game. Oh my god, the game is not responding. Are you telling me the game wants to crash right now? No. No. Okay, guys, we're back. We're finally back. I had to skip through all of that again because the game crashed. That was a like this is this is a really the unluckiest game session record slash recording session I've ever had. It's the day of the festival. All of the day of all days, I expect this to be the one where I will be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but I said that's a little too much. Uh, guys, 
Why is there no music right now? Not a single... Like, there's no audio at all. This isn't my problem. The audio is working perfectly. The game has just no audio right now. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text, reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. <coughs> Finally enough, I probably feel the same way, sorry guys, as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the best. But not Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Karim, you're the first one here, and again, no music. What the flip is going on? Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least you would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the one she prepared that has all the poems she's performing. In the end, I found a random poem online. That I thought Monica would like and submit. So that's the one I'll be performing. And I'm surprised the... <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overstepped it. The dummy. You'd think on days like this important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not really that simple for her. Yeah, it is. How? It is not simple at all. How are you talking like that? I only say it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Uh. You should take another responsibility for it. I mean, special after you exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Wait, how did you know about that? Nobody told you. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. B but I stand embarrassed. Did Sire really tell her about it that quickly? No, Sire would never do such a thing. She has a depression. She wouldn't tell Monica. Hey, Karim told me he loved me yesterday. No, that wouldn't happen. That we're a couple now? No, that wouldn't happen. I'm telling you. I didn't really plan to bring up with ever, anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Okay. Okay. Monica's like. Monica's being so creepy right now. Monica's being as friendly as usual. But for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grab one of the pamphlets right out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feeling. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. Yeah. What is this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Holy mackerel! Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. And and repeats, oh, 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 get out of my head, get out of, get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, uh, uh what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Kareem, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else I always written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Ah, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What else was I thinking? Okay, something is horribly wrong right now. No music, that poem. I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of waking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. 
I don't expect an answer she, since she not she's not picking up her phone either. Sorry guys, this is the fourth time someone cuts me. Like yes, I told you, <laughs> this is the worst recording session of my entire life. Like yesterday, I opened the door and left myself in. Uh, something bad is going on, Sayori. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all, waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't have, want to and have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves no choice. I gently open the door. Sayori! I knew this would happen. I knew it, but holy crap! Oh my god! An expectation has occurred. File game script chapter 5, line 307. See trace back text for details. Oh! The trace back file has been updated. Wait a second, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. I'm sorry, but an uncaught expectation occurred. While running game code, file Renipi, you start and re script Renipi. Okay. Restart top context. Oh, jeez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a second, I can probably fix this. I, I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. Ha, huh? well, here goes nothing. Wait a second. No. 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 Oh my god. She's gone. She's gone from the character files. She is gone from the character files. Yep. Yep. Sire is deleted. And do you know what? I don't know if it's Yuri or it's Monica, but it's one of these two. And I have a feeling that the game's trying to tell you it's Monica. But I have a feeling that there is like a plot twist. I don't know. But it's I have I, I me too. I have a feeling that it's Monica. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It, it has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. So I wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sarah I'd be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori did at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Oh, why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spend more time with her, walk her to school, remain friends with her, like always there's been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I will carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Seriously? This is the end of the game? No. Sayori isn't here anymore, because she was deleted. Instead, we have like a combination of Yuri, Natsuki, and Monica. Oh my god. But there's something else. Uh, what the flip is that? Okay guys, I don't know what to do right now. So, 
this will be the end of this video if you enjoy please be sure to hit that like button and if you want to see more oh wait sorry wait oh my god guys i realized something no i didn't show you guys that i didn't show you that sorry guys well there wasn't really something it's just the dialogue that i said i'm sorry if you haven't seen it this is really my fault but that's what the game looks right now no Sayori just that combination of Monica Natsuki and Yuri itself. and that new game option that looks very disordered okay guys I don't know what to do right now please tell me in the comments what I should do <sighs> I don't know what to do in this game right now I feel like I should start a new game and see what happens but this is gonna be the end of this video please if you want to see more please be sure to hit that like button if you want to see more of this game and other games please be sure to subscribe this is scary pines and i'm out thank you i'm so stunned right now bye bye